Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mother Nurture. If you're new here, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if so, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I post a new video. So as I stated in my previous video, today I'm gonna to be discussing why I decided to become a birth doula. Hi. So to start off, I just wanna say that for as long as I can remember, I've always been really drawn to helping people and wanting to make positive changes in their lives, along with always being obsessed with babies. So for the last two years, I've been on a journey of self-discovery. What I mean by a journey of self-discovery is I was trying to figure out what really brings me joy, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to, where I wanted to go, what path I wanted to take, and things like that. I actually started off as a radiation therapy major, and Unfortunately, that didn't work out as I was on this journey. I figured out that that really didn't align with my spirit and what I wanted to do. So I moved on. I took some. I took a step back from that and I decided to really buckle down and figure out what it is that I wanted to do with my life. And so as I was trying to figure that out, I kept coming back to one thing. And that thing being that I really, really wanted to help people. So fast forward a little, I started being really intrigued with listening to women's birth stories via YouTube actually. And I started seeing a trend of women talking about their birth experiences not being what they intended them to be or what they expected them to be. And that drew me to wanting to do my own research and figure out what was happening. I wanted to figure out why so many women that looked like me and women in general weren't having the experiences that they expected to have. So I dove in and I did my own research and what I uncovered really broke my heart. From the amount of women from so many walks of life discussing the mistreatment that they were having to the amount of women dying in the U.S. each year from pregnancy-related complications. In fact, about 700 women die each year in the United States from complications of pregnancy. 60% of these deaths are actually preventable, with 33% of that 700 dying within one week to one year after delivery, 31% during pregnancy, and another 36% during delivery and up to one week postpartum. Now, if those numbers don't alarm you already, what will really blow your mind is if you guys did your own research outside of this video and compared our numbers in the United States to countries all around the world, you would be alarmed as well. Another statistic that actually really stuck out to me was one that kind of resonated with me. Black women and women of color are 243% more likely to die during pregnancy or pregnancy-related complications. For women overall, there is a 1 in 6 chance that women will experience mistreatment by healthcare providers during childbirth. And that right there really broke my heart and made me want to dive even deeper into this and figure out why this is happening to women across the country. I also uncovered the top three causes of, of maternal death, and I'll put those on the screen right here. The top three causes of maternal death in the United States are actually infection or sepsis, high blood pressure, and hemorrhage. And because death is not the only thing happening, I also thought that it would be great to talk about the top four types of mistreatment during childbirth by healthcare providers. Number one, being shouted at. Two, refusing requests for help. Number three, violation of physical privacy. And four, threatening to withhold treatment. Meaning that these women are in these rooms with people that they don't know or people that they just met, these doctors, these midwives, and they're just touching them. They're not asking their consent. And as I saw those top four things, what really stuck out to me was that all of these things could be avoided. In my opinion, I feel as though they could be avoided by if these healthcare providers would just have a little bit more compassion and be more willing to listen to these women as they're expressing their needs during childbirth or leading into or even just during active labor. And although as a birth doula, I knew that I wouldn't have any medical training, which means I wouldn't really be qualified to give women medical advice. I feel as though as a birth doula, what comes with that role is being able to really read your client's body language and make sure that their needs are being met when they're expressing their pain or just expressing anything along the lines of their pregnancy. I think that it's important for me to be able to identify some of these complications so that we can avoid and lower that maternal death rate in the United States. So I know this may have been a lot of information that I shared with you guys. I just wanted to give you guys a more in-depth understanding of why I decided to be a birth doula. I know sometimes it's easy for us to turn a blind eye or not really care that much about things that aren't 
affecting us personally. I decided that I would do what I could to help mothers all around not only have the births that they desire, but the births that they deserve. If you guys are interested in learning more about what the research that I've done and the things that I have uncovered about the healthcare system in the United States along the lines of childbirth, I will be more than glad to make a video on that. But yeah, this is my story. This is how I got to where I am today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Mother Nurture, and I'm sending you peace, love, and light, and positive vibes for your week. And I can't wait to see you guys next video. Peace.